Well, hi guys and gals. It's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I'll bet y'all are wondering what I've been up to. I ain't made any videos for a while. There's part of the project. Let me take you inside and show you the rest of what's been happening. Those who have been following along on my channel know that uh, we had a well drilled. They went down 500 feet before they hit water. Problem is, they didn't just hit water. Not only did we get water, but we also got gas. And you might have heard the fan blowing outside. That's because this tank here is constantly being vented. And uh, I can't open it up for you at the moment, but you can take my word for it. This is a water aerator system. And I have my water comes in down here now, comes up through this, these two filters, comes across there, comes down here, and comes up this back side right here goes into the tank and inside the tank there are six eight aerator spigots in there circular so that when the water comes in it's actually being fanned out and the gas is being separated from the water and then i have another pump regular submersible pump down inside of the tank here so that we take the water that has been separated from the gas and it comes out here and it goes back in through here and comes up and hooks back into my water system. Now I have two filters down here. This one is strictly sediment. This one does sediment and other things too. And then I have another one up here just in front of my water heater um, so that I've had that one for quite a while to keep the sediment from getting into the bottom of my water tank, which was new when we bought the place about four years ago. So I have been down underneath and had to, uh, whoops, getting kind of fuzzy there, guys. Sorry about that. I had to go down underneath and I had to re-plumb down under there and I'm not going to show you but you can imagine I had to crawl down in that hole I went in feet first and I could bend at the waist and just touch the ground down inside there so I could do my plumbing under there and I had to do quite a bit to get things hooked up the way they needed to be for the system to function properly. And uh, I knocked this hole out so that I could have access here. Otherwise, I would have had to go in the opposite end of my house to the crawl space entrance down there and crawl all the way down to this end where all the plumbing is uh, coming off of the well. And uh, you can see maybe I hope maybe you can maybe you can't but if you look right there you'll see that line coming up that is the water line coming from my well and uh, I have plumbed it used to come up and go over that way now it comes up and goes over this way and into my feed lines here so that's what I've been up to. I've been working at this for about four days, I think. You guys keep tearing up on me. But anyway, that's what I've been doing. Plumbing, plumbing, and more plumbing. And I just had to do some more plumbing. Turn that light off, see if that helps. Nope, didn't help at all. Don't know what's going on with my camera. Hope it's not dying. That's what I've been up to. I've been working on this thing for about four days. Uh, the system 
when I get I installed it all and I had a leak right at this fitting here fix that one that's why I have those unions down there and then I discovered which I hadn't noticed before that there was a leak on this fitting up here so I cut this apart this morning and fixed that I haven't tested it yet because I gotta wait for my glue to dry and uh, this unit right here was leaking a little bit so I replaced that I had to cut the pipe off and I put new um, thread sealing on there and about an hour from now I can turn it on hopefully everything will come back and be fine and dandy that's what I've been up to I got a, a recommendation to make for you all if you get plumbing to do and especially if you don't have access to a cutter I was cutting stuff up here when I was up top using my miter saw but these right here are the cat's meow ratcheting PVC cutter let me show you watch this ratchet snap and hook it together and you get a nice clean cut look at that so yeah I highly recommend these the one that I have came from my local Ace Hardware store So until next time, and hopefully we'll be getting back to some regular projects again. And uh, yeah, that would be nice for a change. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, sharing, thumbs up, all them good things. Till next time, this is George. Bye for now.